Hey gang, I'm sure you have seen, or many of you have seen, that video of Angus Young and ACDC dancing around on stage and playing a version of George Benson's On Broadway. I couldn't believe it when I first saw it. My respect for Angus as a player went from already super high to really through the roof. And then I realized, oh, this isn't them playing, this is a fake. But the second thing I thought was, man, whoever's playing that really is smoking and playing some great licks. So I thought today we'd learn the awesome lick that's at nine seconds into that video. Let me demo it and then we'll learn it. Oh yeah, great lick. And for the whole video, I've got it linked in the description. You can check it out if you want to after this video. But anyway, in terms of that lick, I think of that more as a George Benson lick with some overdrive rather than an Angus Young lick dressed up as a George Benson lick. Let's learn that right now. All right, let's go over this in slow motion and then we'll talk about the theory a little bit and then we'll talk about line by line. And I do have the tab, it's linked in the description below. I recommend you learn this by ear first and then have a look at the tab. All right, here we go. All right, now that we've covered the slow-mo, let's cover very briefly the theory and an approach that we might take. So the theory, really super simple. We've only got two notes, basically. We've got an A flat and a G flat, right? And, and in fact, the center is on A flat. It kind of centers on A flat. That's home for us. Now, in this case, when we have two majors that are separated by a whole step, we know that in this case, A flat is taking the role of the five chord. So that makes A flat mixolydian the scale that we're, is the correct scale, whatever correct means, okay? But in this case, I like to think of this as we can play the A flat mixolydian. But we can put in any chromatic note that we want to in the middle of that. Okay, and in fact, that's kind of what's going on in this solo. It's basically just using a mixolydian sort of formulation and we're playing tons and tons of chromatic notes in it. All right, so what might be the approach? The most important thing to the approach is that you have the rhythm right. <laughs> If you get the rhythm right, the notes are going to sound good. That's kind of what's going on in the solo. Just a bunch of notes from Mixolydian with a bunch of chromatics in there and played in a really cool rhythm. All right, let's check out the lick itself now. All right, this whole lick is centered around this bar chord, this A flat bar chord that's on the fourth fret right here. So we're going to think of this, this is the root right here on the E string sixth fret. Okay, so here are the pickup notes before we really get into the lick itself that really gives it its character. Here are the pickup notes, starting on the D string, fourth fret. Okay, that last note is a half step bend on the sixth fret of the B string. And then you want to give it just a little vibrato once you get it up there. All right. Now the fun begins. Now we begin the chromatic turning lick that gives this uh, lick all of its flavor. So we're gonna break it up into manageable chunks and then put it all together at the end, okay? So we'll keep them nice and small and then we'll put them together. All right, so here's line one. 
Okay, here's the first line that we're going to learn. We're going to start out on the thinnest E string right here in the fourth fret. Pretty straightforward. We're just going up chromatically. Four, five, six, seven. Back to four. Then we're jumping to the B string and playing six, seven. And then four again on the E. So you see it's going up, down, and up again. Now, I play this with starting with a downstroke and I use strict alternate picking. Play it very, very slowly to get your fingers used to it. I promise speed will come. All right, let's move on to the second of these licks. All right, well, if you thought the first line was twisty and turny, this one is even more so, but it's kind of the crux of the lick, so it's an important one to know. Kind of reminds me of an old Charlie Christian line or two, so let's check it out. It's a cool one. All right, here we go. We're going to start on the B string 7th fret. Okay, one more time, very slowly. Notice that we're going back and forth on the B string to the G string, and then ending up on this B4, so. This one is really tricky if you're not used to these lines. This idea of coming down to the G6 and then back up to the B6 and then going down chromatically, very tricky for your fingers. Again, I use strict alternate picking on this one and it seems to work just fine. All right, well, this is the last line of this lick and it's another really cool one. So guess what? We're going to go back and forth. It's the theme of this lick is kind of going up, down, back and forth and twisting and turning and adding a lot of chromaticism. All right, in this third line, we're gonna go chromatically. Remember, we just ended up on B4. We're gonna go chromatically from G7 all the way to G3. That's it, okay? So one more time, we're gonna go B4, and then down to the G string, seven, six, five, four, three. D4, and then back up and down again. So, and now we're gonna play this lick, which is a very useful lick. Okay, so. Okay, and that's pretty much it for this entire line. There's just a bunch of things at the end where he tries to get a little Angus in and he's playing this. <laughs> All right, so those are just squealies, right? Some pinch harmonics here on the G string fourth fret. And let me show you up close what I'm doing with my, with my right hand so you can see about doing those squealies. Okay, so again, a left hand, I'm just playing the G string fourth fret. And what I'm trying to do here is, let me see if I can do this this way, is I'm trying to get just a little bit of flesh from my first finger, a little bit of flesh on that. And that'll do it. I just kind of dig into the string. All right, let's put it all together now. But just realize that any one of these lines can be used as a lick in and of itself. Let's take that first line. All you have to do is put an ending note on it and it's a fantastic lick. Great lick. All right, and there's plenty of them buried in all the other lines as well. All right, let's put them all together now though. All right, we're gonna start with our pickup lines as well. So here we go, here's our pickup line. Okay, here's the first line. Second line. Third line. Third line. 
Now you could just end it by sliding up here to the fifth, and that sounds fantastic. Or you can do what was done in the lick and just kind of do the squealies. And that's cool too. All right, well, there we go. A lick from Angus Young playing George Benson's On Broadway. Pretty darn cool lick, I think. All right, next up, George Benson playing Highway to Hell. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Well, who knows? But in any case, we'll see you on down the road.